Hi, my name is Ashley Adamson and I've had a really shitty day. <laughs> yeah, it felt really great at the beginning of the day. It was going really well. And then I got a text from the guy that I was seeing this past week. And he basically told me that there was something that I did that wasn't feminine enough for him and he doesn't see how we can continue. It kind of turned him off and there's just nothing that can be done there. So that hurts, uh, especially as a trans woman. And then I went to the therapist and told him about the additional paperwork that we have to do to get medical coverage for some of the trans healthcare stuff. And then uh, I bur burst into tears because of the previous thing that I just mentioned, as well as being told that there's more paperwork to do, which makes me feel completely disempowered and stuck within a, a system that doesn't support me and give me the ability to take care of myself, even if I try. And adding the additional layer of German as a language that I'm not very good at, it makes it even harder. And then we talked about, you know, is it... Um, correct for me to even live here, should I perhaps consider going back to the United States? And I actually considered it, and I still am, which made me cry even more because it made me think to myself, what am I even doing here? Why did I move to Berlin? And uh, is it even the right move? It's been super expensive for me, uh, and uh, on paper, um, I haven't made a lot of progress for my own personal transition here. Uh, all my transition progress has happened in the United States and my surgeries previously were all out of pocket and I'm really trying not to do the vaginal plasty um, out of pocket. So I just kind of came home feeling really shitty about it. And uh, it's like, um, the day, the day started really well. I, I came in with the intent of um, really focusing on working on things that set me free. And um, it's kind of become a part of this day where it feels like everything is, is, is not setting me free. I feel uh, trapped or that I made the wrong decision. And, and am I feminine enough? Uh, and um, yeah, paperwork and stuff. The reason why I'm making this video is not because of me, but actually because I want to share with you my process here with um, going through this, feeling this pain, feeling this suffering, and reflecting back to you um, ways in which I am going to work through this. Because, I mean, are you going through pain? Are you suffering? Is there something that's happening in your life? Or do you ever feel like... Um, you, you have your ups and then suddenly things go down and it goes really down and it doesn't feel good. You know, we have these moments and I have struggled through them alone. And now that I have you to share it with, I want to bring you in on my process because I am a strong person and I can rebound and get through this. I have confidence in that, but um, that doesn't stop me from feeling the pain. And maybe um, for you, um, the, like what is pain to you? Does it feel like weakness or does it feel like strength or how do you use it? I use tears and I use pain as a way of releasing and just letting go of it. Um, and I think like once I realized walking home today that this is just another day of uh, things going up and then things going down, do I allow my subconscious to drive the decision of allowing things to go down. We naturally seek these equilibriums, I believe, and um, I think there is probably some trauma or childhood stuff in my past that tells me things that make me believe that things cannot always be up and things cannot always be good and there's always a downside or there's always something negative or something that grounds me back in reality. You know when people say, welcome back to reality, when you've just had a really good time? It's kind of like that. And today I was having a really good time. I was working on all of the stuff to set me free, like um, entrepreneurship and business stuff. And just, you know, I want to set myself free. So as I walked back, I, I felt, you know, like I, I said to myself, what can I do to myself to 
bring me up, to make me happy. And I'll bring you in on this because I want to reveal my weaknesses and also show my strength through this. The first thing that I thought was, um, maybe I'll go drink some, drink a cocktail. That'll make me happy. And I was very alarmed by that because my family, uh, my dad's on my dad's side is alcoholic and I don't want to go down that path. So I said, no, definitely not. And the next part of me said it wanted to give up. Have you ever thought that? Have you ever felt like you just wanted to give up? I, um, I even was just like, maybe I should just, you know, You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I don't give those thoughts. I don't get those thoughts very often. <laughs> but I still get them. But I thought to myself, no. That thought doesn't deserve any of my time or any of my energy. So I just kind of just let, it, let that just go. No resistance, no fighting it, just letting it just go, like psh, drop it, just moving on. <laughs> because, you know, these, these thoughts, these negative thoughts, the more you fight them, the more energy you give them and, and the more power they have over you. Have you ever had that experience where you feel like you're like, no, I don't want to think this. No, I don't want to think this. And all you're thinking about is whatever you're trying to not think about, right? So try to be delicate with your thoughts when you're especially dealing with very negative ones. And just let that go, just kind of like, okay, came into my, my reality and then just let that go, just bye. <laughs> and so kind of like what I resorted on was, uh, no, I, I'm, not going to, I'm not going to let this day go down. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna be more motivated to set myself free and to find my freedom. Because why am I gonna let the world crush me? Why am I gonna let the world push me down when I know that earlier today I was doing great and I can still great do great. I can end this story as, as, as feeling great, like feeling like I did something really well. And by doing that, I'm going to recalibrate and reteach my own brain that believes that things have to go up and then down and it's trying to bring things down right now, that it doesn't have to be that way. I'm going to reprogram my own story, my own inner narrative, um, which is, I just learned this yesterday, is governed by the de what's called the de default mode network, um, which is a part of your brain that tells your own narrative and story. and. Um, this default mode network sort of like continues to perpetuate your story. And I'm guessing that a part of my story is, is the coming down part. So I'm like, nope, I'm, I'm going to go up and I'm going to get myself something that's not so bad as those other things. So I got myself some oat cookies and I got myself my favorite thing, which is potato chips. <laughs> and I'm going to continue working. I'm going to continue pushing along and just moving things along to demonstrate the power that I have to retell my story and to and to relearn how I experience these these downs. And this is why I'm making this video for you because that place where you have that negativity, that sadness, that deep well where you feel like you're stuck or that you're it feels like you're drowning and you don't know how to get out, you may feel alone, you may feel lost. Um, you know that place? When you get into that place, see if you can find within you the strength to say no. No, I'm, I'm not going to allow my brain to re relive and rekindle this path. I'm going to leave this path and retell my story and prove to myself that I can have a different path. And that to me is, is like being a warrior, having the strength within you to, um, to approach what stops you in a way where you can conquer it, in, in applying effort to overcome what you need to overcome. And I think this is super important for you and for everyone who's um, afraid, afraid of, 
of their mind, afraid of the world, and not feeling strong enough. We need new narratives to, to rebound off of. And oftentimes, and I feel like, especially within the trans community, there's a lot of victim narrative. We don't need to live that anymore. We can be strong. So um, that's my own personal story for today. Uh, thank you for joining me. And I wanna just say a thank, thank you to all my patron supporters, all um, 32 of you. Thank you so much for supporting me. Um, I've got some new subscribers uh, as of yesterday and I should shout you out, but I, I'm forgetting your names. Um, but thank you so much for supporting me and I'll see you in another episode soon. Bye.